My name is Jennifer Worth and I started as a, a nurse when I was 18 and then I became a midwife and I practiced nursing for 20 years and I left in um, 1973 I think it was. I've written uh, three books about my life. First of all The Midwife, then uh, the Workhouse, Shadows of the Workhouse, and then Farewell to the East End. Well, I was um, an ambitious nurse. I wanted to become a hospital matron. I was not going to just be left on the lower ranks. And in those days, it was necessary to become a midwife also. And that's the only reason why I started. And I, once I really got into it, I loved it. And I particularly loved working with the nuns on the district here in the East End of London. I was not a particularly religious person and um, honestly I didn't know it was a convent that I was coming to. I thought it was a small hospital <laughs> and it was such a shock when I got there and found nuns all around me. I nearly ran away. I really did. But I didn't, and thank God I didn't, because it was the best experience of my life. In the convent, I met some of the best, some of the finest people I've ever met. The nuns, who, who had been working in the area, a very, very rough area, since the 1870s. Now, there was Sister Monica Joan. Well, she was, when I first knew her, she was 90. She was always the, the la di da aristocrat, always. Even with the Cockney people, she never left it. It was sort of things like, um, out of my way, fellow. <laughs> that was typical of her. <laughs> come here, come here. <laughs> that was typical. And you know, the Cockney men and women loved it. They really loved it in complete contrast to Sister Monica Jones' uh, la de la ways, uh, were the Cockney people. Their language was almost a separate language. It was um, sort of a, oh, you wash your coke as a London Nodders and Sash, do you, dearie? Oh, well, it's over there. Look, take that cutting over there and you'll get through and then you'll find it out right the other side of the road, lovey. Now, could you understand that? <laughs> Really, it was the most wonderful time of my life, and indeed the most formative time of my life, to be exposed to so much goodness and purity and um, selfless, sacrificial hard work, which is what the nuns were, what they represented, was um, a changing point in my life, and it would be, I think, in anyone's life.